I've got the codes. All right, then let's get right to it. Please insert stolen security codes now. Strike a key when ready. And it's done. Like they say, easy money. That's it? With the proper equipment, it only takes a moment. We can fight Skynet with our own weapons. I believe that goes for that infiltrator as well. The first prototype just came out a couple of days ago. Imagine what happens if they become mass-produced. We need to hurry before that happens. That infiltrator has been after us for more than just a couple of days. What do you mean? It's been following me for months. But that simply can't be. That prototype has been out for mere days. It's the same model that destroyed Pacific Division. But I'm connected to Skynet's mainframe and I can see their plans. I'm telling you that what you're saying is not possible. Unless... Oh my god. They will do it. They will finish the TDE. Finish what? TDE, Time Displacement Equipment. For all intents and purposes, it's a time machine. A time machine? Yes, a time machine. You go in, you pick a date, you press a button, and just like that you'll be watching your younger self learning to tie your shoelaces. You know, time travel. Skynet's been working on TDE for a while now. I've been monitoring its progress, but it's still not ready yet. So how could they send anyone back if it's not ready? They didn't, but they will. Don't you see? In one alternative future, they finished TDE and sent a Terminator back to our times. That has to be the one you saw. You couldn't have seen it otherwise. It didn't exist yet. That would explain why they suddenly started to learn at such a geometric rate. This is big. This is really big. So, if it's done, then what the fuck can we do now? We can still fight for this future. Our future. You could stop Skynet before they finish building time displacement equipment and send any more Terminators back. I'm forwarding everything I've learned to Connor. He needs to know. And you go report back to Baron. Speaking of Baron... What happened between you and Baron? Years ago, Connor gave an order to infect Skynet with a virus. To do it, we had to reboot a T-800 model I was trying to reprogram. I warned them that I wasn't done and that the Terminator was fully functional, but they didn't listen. So, as expected, it went online and sent our coordinates to Skynet. But not only that, it attacked and killed Perry. Baron took it personally because they were... an item. She's been holding a grudge ever since. I got that chip for you. Is it any different from the others? Is it any different? Of course it is! Its CPU is a neural net processor, a learning computer. It's been updated to incorporate infiltrating techniques. Thus, its processing power exceeds any other chip. This could be exactly what we need to win this war, Jacob. I, I have to warn you. Baron sent me to kill you. If she finds out that I didn't, she'll send someone who will. Thank you for telling me. If what you're saying is true, I don't have much time. As soon as I'm done packing, I'll be on my way. I've already sent all the blueprints and access codes to Connor. Grab that plasma behind you. And go see Baron.
Commander. I'm here. Is the thing with Mac taken care of? It is. But I have some news for you. Go ahead. Here's the man of the hour. Sergeant, are you taking a tour with us? Repeat it back to me. Know your target and what's behind it. And what else? Forgot. This is it, huh? No more turning back. Whatever happens, you know what? It's probably bad luck to say goodbye, right? They gave me a rifle? I don't even know how to use one. <clears throat> they said it's hot, but it doesn't seem hot to me at all. Rivers, just when you thought shit couldn't get any more crazy, this happens. So what now? With the infiltrators coming out and news of a fucking time machine, Connor wants to finish this war fast. Are we prepared? Nowhere near. That's why an all-out attack is our only option. Alvin managed to locate Skynet's central core through the hijacked satellite. It turns out it's right under our nose. It's in the basement of the old Griffith Observatory. So we're moving out. You are. Connor wants me to stay here to coordinate the attack. And his North Division is heading to stop Skynet from sending anything through the time displacement equipment. So this is it? It does seem that way. You better get all your things sorted. Take your time. You're leaving in a couple of hours. Dismissed.
think these ones have a five second fuse. Are you sure? We don't want the same thing that happened. Do you need anything? Can I see your hardware? Jacob? You're moving out? I am. 
What about you? I'm part of a scavenging team now, but Commander Baron gave us an order to get back to the shelter. If you see Jennifer, can you tell her that? Okay. Uh, where is she? Last time I saw her, she was upstairs. You need anything? Can I see your hardware?
Nice view. How did you find me? Patrick told me you might be somewhere around here. It's my thinking spot. Is he worried? No, he seems happy. How did he do on your first scavenging hunt together? Well, at first he was excited just to be outside. A little too excited. Some drones spotted him. But I did it. I managed to protect him. Nothing happened. And from that point on, he understood how dangerous a scavenger's life can be. See, you'll make a great scavenging team. Yeah, I'm starting to see it that way. And because of that, I was thinking... About leaving? <laughs> I don't have any secrets from you, do I? Yeah, about leaving. With Patrick. I think you should leave. What? Are you serious? I thought you'd be the last person to encourage me to go. What about what you said earlier? What changed? Things are different now. It's not safe here anymore, and I think you should go. Jacob, I don't know what to say. You know that your opinion matters to me the most. To be honest, you're the only thing keeping me here. Well, that's it then. I guess I'm going. You're always looking out for me. Thank you for that. I know you're moving out soon, but there's something I want to say. Regardless of what happens later, I hope that we'll find each other. Thank you for always being there for me. I'm lucky to have someone like you. And I'm lucky to have you. I hoped you'd say that. You know what? I'll stay here just a little while longer. Tell Patrick not to worry. I'll be back soon. I'll do that. I found her. She's all right. Uh, she'll be back soon. Don't worry. Thanks, Jacob.
You ready to move out? I am. All right. Let's do this. Thirty years ago, the machines decided to wipe out all of humanity because they feared that we were a threat to their existence. Today, we make their fear come true. Sergeant Rivers, you were requested by John Connor to lead the Alpha Team. You will be responsible for carrying out the attack on the location of Skynet's central core. We will create a diversion to lure out any HK aerials patrolling the area. That should give you some time to breathe. Taking out Skynet's ground forces, that's on you. Remember, the goal is to destroy Skynet's central core, at whatever cost. Good luck out there. Dismissed. Alright everyone, this is us. Let's move out. <laughs> 